What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and we're here with a few final thoughts on the Battle of Hoenn competition that took place a couple of weeks ago. Um, not only did I have some battles that I wanted to share with you all uh, that I found entertaining, at least during that period, but uh, they were just overall, it just really helped me uh, learn how interesting some Pokemon were. Um, in this battle, I had a fun moment with Mega Sableye. Uh, first of all, he tries to set up Stealth Rocks with this uh, Marsh Tomp. I'm sorry, with the Swampert. Does not work out because the Magic Bounce bounces it back. And he goes for Earthquake after I burn him, and it as it just doesn't do much damage at all. It was really disappointing damage. So this allows me to calm mine, and I'm basically going to end up sweeping him with uh, Sableye. So he's seeing that Earthquake isn't going to do anything, which is fine by me. He really needs a Fairy move to break through here. Because uh, after Mega Sableye gets up two Calm Minds, it's incredibly difficult to break through. Uh, even with super effective fairy type moves. Um, but anyways though, while we're waiting for him to break through that, things I learned from this competition, number one, uh, Mega Glalie is amazing. Uh, he's not used very much in OU, um, or in UU really for that matter, but he's just a force to be reckoned with. Even things that resist his attacks take heavy damage from them. His main issue is his speed, so a little bit of speed control to help him out. Uh, really, really makes him a force to be reckoned with. Uh, unfortunately for my opponent, he actually ended up uh, roaring himself out into his Metagross, and at that point he forfeited. So, <laughs> that was an interesting match. Um, in this other match that I had, I believe this is a match where Alkazam really got to show off a good bit. I didn't know what to expect from Dusclop, so I just stayed in expecting to get hit by a Shadow Ball. And he actually just goes for Curse. Um, of course, Curse would only work if I didn't have Magic Guard, so it doesn't do any damage and he loses a bunch of HP for no real reason. Uh, so I decided to go on to the Sableye, expecting him to switch, um, not wanting to get knocked out by the Shadow Ball. Unfortunately for me, he brought a Zoomerill, but fortunately for me, I did not make a ball so that I could get the Prankster. Um, uh, Will of Wisp often saved Mega Glalie in the back, and so even though that was a super effective play rough from a Zoomerill, and this is not Mega Sableye, I take that very, very well. Um, we are going to play a little bit of shenanigans here, hoping that he eventually misses the play rough or gets a lower damage roll, because right now I'm losing HP on my recovery. I lose a few HP every turn, but for some reason he switches up right here and goes for Aqua Jet. Not really sure why, but that's basically what I needed to turn the tide and go on uh, the offensive here. So he's gradually losing HP because of his um, burn, and now I get to go on into Glalie and just smack him just really, really hard. Uh, Glalie takes that hit really, really well uh, for him being burned, even though it's a Mega uh, Azumar with a huge power ability. And I wanted to switch out to see if I could do well with my Moody Boost. And unfortunately, I do not. I saw a really annoying battle that uh, Angel of the Night posted from her Battle of Hoenn series where her, one of her opponents used a Mega Glalie with Substitute, Protect, and Sheer Cold. And that was just terrible to watch. It just kept on blocking attacks until it got the Moody Boost it want, wanted, and then it, it was just dodging attacks and doing damage to her team, and it was just really stupid because it was just getting one-hit knockouts on things like a Mega Metagross and stuff. Really, really stupid. Anyways, though, um, that defensive boost is going to save me from this Crobat's Cross Poison, and I'm going to be able to knock it out with Return. I'm really happy I didn't go for Ice Shard there because, of course, Ice Shard wouldn't have KO'd, and if he wanted to go onto his Dusclops, then, um, yeah, that would have been annoying. But he actually has Shadow Sneak on the Dust Class, so I'm not going to be able to finish him off with Mega Glalie. But that was still a good exhibition of Mega Glalie switching in, Moody activating, and being able to take some hits and get, grab some KOs there. Now, I really need to start using Alakazam more in singles. Uh, Magikarp is just too good to pass up. Uh, and then also with the Focus Sash, it's just so versatile as far as just having a little bit of insurance in the back of your team and also um, just being able to take hits generally. Now on this battle, this is my favorite battle of the entire Battle of Hoenn. So I'm able to Mach Punch Sharpedo immediately. It does not do anything in this match. I'm not sure what my opponent expected to happen there. Uh, it would have had to be Scarf to outspeed Breloom. So I don't have anything to hit Alakazam and I don't have a Focus Sash. So we're gonna go on to my Assault Vest of Azumarill. As he goes for Psychic, which is great, because of course Assault Vest raises my special defense. I hit him with an Aqua Jet because I know two Aqua Jets will be able to finish him off. I was hoping to live Energy Ball, 
but unfortunately uh, not quite bulky enough to live energy ball. And so that means I just have my Breloom and my Mega Glalie left. So now is a great opportunity to go out in a Glalie, immediately Mega Evolve. I know I can KO him with an Ice Shard, especially from the boosted attack from Mega Evolving. Uh, and that leaves his last Pokemon as what I have to deal with. And his last Pokemon is actually a Melodic. Um, and at this point, I was like, okay, I don't think he can KO me. So we're just going to go for Earthquake, see how much that does. And it barely does anything. That was really pathetic damage. Um, and I'm hoping for not the burn. He doesn't burn me, but the Scald is a two-hit KO, which is unfortunate. So we are going to hit that kill switch, and we're going to explode. And this was just so immensely satisfying, because Earthquake did barely any damage. But explode, Explosion, which is a resisted attack from Melodic, KO'd it. And so it had a little bit of prior damage, but it was basically at about 80% HP. So I'm able to kill it with the resisted attack. That was just very satisfying. Um, and overall, the Battle of Hoenn was pretty satisfying too. I'll be doing a similar wrap up for the Generation Showdown with a couple of battles I had from that. And uh, look forward to the February ICL, the International Challenge League, coming up next week. Alrighty, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye now.